Welcome, boys and girls, our dear live viewers, of course, the dropshot.com slash live, and our YouTube subscribers. This is a piece of content that goes up on the YouTube, but not in the podcast apps. Um, it is, there is some content we do that is like that. Uh, it is the content that is, of course, contingent upon a video being shown, obviously. And that's what we're doing today. We're back with another gameplay breakdown. And today, we are breaking down the gameplay of our very own Ron Kong. Change it. Let's go, Ron. Ron Kong, Damascus patron. Not much of a talker, because uh, I'm going to be honest. Haven't seen him say a goddamn word anywhere. Neither have I. Ron, I've never seen uh, you speak. Not once. So that's fine. Not a problem. And Ron Kong's a very smart man for a couple reasons. Number one, he's a Damascus patron. And we'd love to see that. So you might be asking, hey, I would love for these absolute dipshits to break down my gameplay. How do I make this happen? Patreon.com slash the drop shot. Sign up for the Damascus tier. This is one of the benefits of being a Damascus patron. Uh, gameplay breakdowns. We have a Discord channel that only our most dedicated patrons can access. And if they want, they can submit gameplay for us to review live on the broadcast. Now, if the subject wishes we will also have them in discord while we do the gameplay breakdown in this case ron kong does not appear to be available so we are going to do it uh without him um but that's fine we we allow people to be in voice if they want we also allow them to not be in voice if they don't want um and that's what we're doing here today so uh, once again, if you're interested in your gameplay being broken down, keep the Patreon, thedropshot.com. You can find all of our links there. And without further ado, Ron Kong, let's get into it. Now, we are starting Ron Kong. the video here at 2 minutes and 27 seconds because the video is 12 minutes and 27 seconds long. And the stipulations are 10 minutes. So that's what we're doing. Get scammed. And, and, what, and what gets scammed. And what we're looking at here, of course is a buy station. Now, Ron has apparently just done a supply. Nope. There's a fire sale. There's a fire sale. Yep. There is a fire sale. And that is what we're looking at here. So let's dive in. So he bought a precision airstrike. He is on a controller and he's also using a console. That seems to be obvious. This also appears to be quads on Reverb Island. Yes. Oh, man, this field of view. Type of submission. And this is, of course, the good old console field of view. We're Not the that there's zone. anything wrong with playing on the console. Now we're hearing so some he's, shots. So he's using the distance. augs. This is going to be AUG FFAR. Super OP, super busted is what we're going to see here. And this is obviously pre nerf to the AUG and pre nerf yeah. to the FFAR. So he's got one so kill so far. Comms. He's got a precision More, uh, airstrike in the pocket. Let's hope they don't say anything TOS. Let's hope. Let's hope. Well, not that heartbeat. See one on the heartbeat. Okay. So real quick, right out, right out the gate. Good play here. So he's on the rooftop. He's oh, a little too far. He's on the rooftop. He's got elevation. Uh, he pulls out his heartbeat sensor. And as soon as he does. He sees someone 21 meters uh, in front of him. Now, what's the immediate correct play here? Switch to the disgusting FFAR. Because would you destroy this kid with an AUG at this distance? Of course you would. FFAR is going to be much easier and cleaner to do it with. And you don't run the risk of this guy getting away. There's absolutely no chance he gets away. So he immediately switches to the FFAR. Excellent play. And just... Yeah, you always want to be checking heartbeat on Reaver because it's so small. Especially on Reaver, true. Yes. Doesn't forget the gas mask. Very good play there because I was about I'm, to yell at him. I'm pretty sure that guy just said a gamer word. 
Oh, did he? I <laughs> think he did, yeah. Well, we'll edit that out. So, so sorry, anyways. YouTube, yeah. Any YouTubers? Enemy UAV overhead. So we're hearing multiple enemy UAVs. Got He's got looking it. around for enemy That's That scope is it. What's that scope he's using? A default? What, what is that scope? This is an excellent question. I don't believe it's default, because I don't think you could change the default. default no, it's not default. Yeah, it's the I four believe times? this is the 2x, maybe. No. Is it? I don't know. Whatever, I don't it's know. a shit reticle more than anything. Yes, it is. So, they're staying... By the way, if we look at the mini-map here... Yeah, it's four times. All four players are on the same building, which is good. Uh, in Rebirth Island, splitting is very dangerous because it's a lot smaller. And if you split in fours, you might run into two or three teams fighting each other, and then it's one versus 16, and you will die. You can sometimes get away with kind of wandering off on your own in regular Warzone, but on Rebirth, it's very scary, and they're not doing it to their credit. Now, right away, any thoughts so far in, in this uh, situation in particular, Tanner? I mean, let's try to hit those shots, but other than that, there's not much you can do about that. Um, I feel like he's kind of wasting a lot of ammo taking weird shots. I don't know. I would try to move positions or something, but I don't... On that building he's on, I don't think there's really a better position you can get while staying on top of the roof, because I think he does want to stay on top of that roof. Also, there's a guy to his left. You can see him in the frame right here. Oh uh, shit, I just noticed that. Down yeah. lower, so. Yep, yeah. So, th those are good points. I think I might have moved. One thing that is clear to me now is that to his right, he's pretty fucking exposed. And by the way, just in case you were wondering if that was true or not, his teammate, who was with him on the roof, just got sniped. And he has not moved once. He has no care in the world. Now, <laughs> if I'm on the same roof as Tanner and Tanner gets fucking dinked up, I'm going to start panicking, move, uh, and try and find that sniper who clearly has a beat on you. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't appear to have happened yet. Let's see if it does. Okay, moving around. Fine. I got you. Uh, interesting res spot. I mean, get behind the box and res, but... Like, he's, so, he, he's literally just in full full uh view of the guy that was he was just shooting at up on the tower and everyone for that matter that's that is true yeah that they, they yeah he is exposed to the tower who has more elevation than he does and also this nebula person i believe he got sniped from our left so he's also exposed so this position i don't know if they have a better option really to be fair but this position is pretty precarious but let's see what happens Gets the res off. Another enemy UAV. Still looking around. He immediately oh, gets shit on him. Nebula's down again. Yeah, what? Well, the Ooh, there it is. There it is. So now we know where the sniper is. Now, one thing I want to say is, Nebula, where are the comms? Do you just not know where this guy is sniping you from? Because you've fallen twice now and haven't said a goddamn thing. And I know your mic works because I've heard you. Yeah. So, Ron, piece of advice number one so far get better teammates have your teammates talk to you that would be helpful because then you would have maybe known where that sniper was who just downed you let's continue yeah. it's marking okay there we go ron so martin maybe for his ron teammate Kong does not have a microphone that might be what's happening here that could be it but he he did mark the location of the enemy uh which is good obviously so that Any hopefully locators, his teammates yeah. can help him out Good job to stay there and play oh. up before moving out. Stays in Nebula cover is, the sniper. Nebula is in good place. cover. Let's okay, good. He got in cover this time. His legs that's are good. hanging out. Okay. Yep. And then he turns okay. his body. Yeah, so that's that smart. He's not smart. Yep. Good play. Good res here. Checking for people around him again. Smart. Yep. Somebody may be pushing up as they see somebody's getting down constantly. I downed him. Ooh, nice shot. Teammate gets nice the shot down. Juggalo. Hey, Ooh. Okay, Tanner, your teammate gets the down. You're on a roof. All four of you are on a roof. Hispanic ninjas flank in the right. Do you push this? I do. You do? I do, okay. absolutely. Okay, let's see what happens. He killed himself. 
So he's moving too slow though already, so it's already. I don't. You gotta know. commit. He's going back. Yeah. Moving you gotta here. commit. He got scared. Okay, jump down. Okay, keep the FFAR out. Nice. Good job. The mouse there. Pretty good. Good move, busting through that door real quick. Smart. Yeah. Gets the plates, reloads. Pretty good. Now another thing I'm noticing, and this won't change throughout the rest of this gameplay, the centering here is not good. Like now, he I needs to raise that reticle. That's what you're saying, right? Significantly, yeah, yes. a lot. Um, the so centering is an FPS term that uh, basically means when you don't see any enemies and you're just fucking running around, where you're pointing your weapon while you're just moving around. In certain games like Counter-Strike, you want to be centering at head level because that game's all about headshots. Yes. In this game, I would say probably like upper chest level. The centering we're seeing is at looting level. Now, <laughs> any looters? That is totally fair. And I'm guilty of doing this sometimes too. Is you're so... Warzone is so loot dependent in every BR really is that you kind of get a little too comfortable with your centering and you, you get into loot goblin mode and you're just constantly pointing at the floor. So if someone came around this corner right here in front of this door, instead of being able to just aim down sight and start shooting, he would have to move his reticle up yep. while aiming down sight and moving. And that's just extra milliseconds that could have been spent killing that you have wasted because you're centering is not where it should be. Exactly. So try to get in the habit of raising that centering. Good so, move. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. We're pushing up. And you'd see more too, by the way. Yeah, even, even now, look how he's running angled yeah. so far down. Yeah. See, saw that. So I'm yeah, not still kidding. angled down, yeah. He actually might have seen this guy if his centering was correct. Yeah. Let's go back a, a, just a touch and find out. So he sees someone on heartbeat. Not 46 meters kind of far in rebirth. Oh, he didn't see the guy either way. He did see him hit. a little briefly, yeah. I don't know about pulling the AUG out of here. Yeah, there we go. I would have never pulled that AUG out at all there. At that close of a range inside of a building, keep the better... Keep the closer... Keep the SMG. Yeah, yeah keep the SMG. Yeah. yeah, there's a good way to put it. Also... Fuck. Hold on. There we go. Do you re-peek this? Let's let's look again. I'm getting hit! Probably. It's probably not the smartest thing to do. So he has one plate. Oh, yeah, you I can see that. You can re-peek it. Yeah. You can re-peek it, but it's risky. Because he the the guy might keep pre-aiming that, thinking you're gonna peek, and you're also not fully plated, and he probably is. So this is risky, it's ambitious, but it's not necessarily risky. Switches to the FFAR, gets the down there. There you go, now he plates up. He yeah, plates also, up. yeah, he has throwing knives, which is interesting. I don't think you should be running throwing knives unless you're a TikTok star, actually. No reason to run throwing knives. I agree. Change those to thermites. Yeah, use and thermites or semtech, run, something else. If you're gonna run throwing knives, use them. Yeah. So you could have used one right there, for example. Uh, but I would say go to thermite, yeah. At the ammo oh, refill, right, you should hit it because you don't have much ammo and you're running double FFAR. So just a missed opportunity on ammo there. Double AR. D yeah, double AR. Yeah. All supply boxes found. Solid. Hitting the buy, buying a buy new one. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> fine because it gives you more yeah, ammo. It's just, but maybe he already hit it. He could have already hit it. Possible too. Yeah, that's possible too. That's possible too. Into the AO. Okay, so he, he sees more here. Okay, he so, here. so it looks like they're trying to zone some people now. Yes. Yeah, I didn't realize they're in great position right here. So they're smart to stay in this kind of building they're in. Yeah, for sure. I think in Rebirth is where you always want to be. That's a weird move right there. That guy at that distance, there's no reason to switch to an AUG. Use whatever gun you have out. You can, yeah. if you had a MAC-10 out, I would still say spray him down using that. He's in the open. He has zero cover. He's not close to cover. Even if you miss shots or you're, it takes 15 bolts to kill with an SMG, you're still going to kill him there. Don't switch guns yes. in a situation like that. 
I agree. And that's something that is kind of, uh, you try not to overthink that shit too much. Yeah. Like, I could almost see the hesitation, like, what's the better gun at this range? Yeah, exactly. And you're trying to do trigonometry. Like, dude, just shoot whatever you have. It's probably fine. Yeah. Like, if you're wondering what gun to use, use the one that's in your hands. Yeah. If it's unequivocally clear that you need to switch guns, then you will switch guns. You'll already know to. But if you're wondering, don't switch. That should be your rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. So I agree there. I just Stop. keep the FFAR out for sure. Six meters. Okay, that was weird. Fire Here's the guy. Two guys. Fire sale. Another fire sale. Bounty target identified. Slot the bastard. Okay, so they have a bounty close by. Yeah. Quick one. Nice. Has the FFAR out, which is good. Doesn't I like this play. Leaders. I like that play. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, he was already dead. What? Oh, was that him? Did he crawl yeah, all the way up that there? That was him. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I really like that move right there to not full kill, and he peeked the corners first. Nobody was yeah. there, but it was a smart move to make. Exactly. Because you want to have some ammo left in your mag to keep shooting, which is something we talk about a lot. Don't auto-fucking thirst everything. Yeah. Unless you're sure you can. Uh, and, and in that case, he, he did. Um, so let's continue. Here's a lot of people. Does, ooh. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, ooh. I was going to say before I saw the play, you see a lot of people around you, and you know they're not on the roof with you. I don't think it's worth jumping down here. It's Now, to be I don't know if he did it on purpose, actually. So, well, yeah, let's go let, let's watch that again. See if he did this. Let's try to say if he did it, if he did that on purpose. Looks like it. This is a couple shots. Yeah, you, the ideal move is to for sure stay on the roof. Honestly, in a situation like that, I'm probably also jumping down. But the better move, undoubtedly, if you're trying to win the game, is to stay on the roof without a doubt. Because also that guy probably he was gonna hit that ammo refill station. He's probably running back out that door where he just dropped down to. So he was probably coming back outside anyways. That's kind of what it looked like. He was already aimed and running in that direction when he dropped down. So, you know, he probably, if he had stayed on the roof, he probably could have just gotten the kill as soon as he came out or a minute or, you know, a little bit after. Yeah. Yeah. True. Now, something to keep in mind to, to Ron's credit is this is rebirth Island. It's not just war zone. It's not just the BR. So and, yeah. And it's resurgence. You, yeah, it's re that's what I meant. Yeah, it's resurgence, and there's four people. It's very likely if you die, you'll get the, the the respawn here. Now, you'll lose your perks and your guns, but you might be able to loot them again. Yeah. So you can take some more risks and liberties and have some fun, uh, more so than in Warzone. So in that case, drop down there, up to you. Still not the right play, but it's not as offensive as if this was like Warzone, for example. Uh, without the re resurgence timer. Um, also, something I'm, a trend I'm noticing: your sensitivity is too high. You're over aiming a lot. Yeah, you're you're aiming point. past your target a lot. Yeah, he started shooting him, and then he went way to the left. Way left. Yeah, he wanted. So you want to move your reticle left because the guy's to the left of where you're aiming, and you overshot him quite a bit. And that's a theme I've seen on a lot of your uh, your shots. Consider turning down your sensitivity. So let's move on. I was waiting for the little timer. Long yeah. timer. It's a long timer, and he's got. I got you. I got you. Oh. Okay, three teams. Uh. Someone's oh, like, oh, like inbound. What is it? Activating his teammate. Hispanic Ninja, by the way. Great name. Yeah. 85. Shout he's out a to the Hispanic Ninja. Yeah. yeah he's old as fuck. Okay. Yeah, do you just, that's here? what I was about to say. I think you do. Oh, he's going for Ooh. the loadout. He's going for the loadie. He sees the guy there. No, that was his teammate, wasn't Found it? Him. Was that not a scene? No. Oh. No. Oh, boy. That's a play and a half. He was getting like, fuck some. It. Yeah. Getting some ammo. Oh, I don't no. Know Put what that aug away. There. Ooh, nice. Gets the kill. Okay. All right. All right. That he knows there's three people like in his building. Loadout grab.
one sec. What I would say there when you respawn, float for a second and try to see if where you died is safe. Yeah. Because then you could drop down, Especially pick up rebirth. all your guns and equipment, then go to the loadout drop with weapons yeah. and ammo so that if you see someone, you have a way better chance of getting the kill. And then once you kill everyone at the loadout drop, get the loadout drop, get your perks. So now you have your weapons and your perks, and it's a way safer way to, to clear that loadout drop. Agreed. So consider doing that next time. Bounty target is down. Well done. They're right outside there. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Dead again. Also, Nothing you can do there. Yeah, not much you could do. To Ron's credit here as well, uh, you'll notice that he's going to hear the guy and just stop moving. Yeah. That's why he was just like, just waiting. Yeah. Because he heard him running by. So let him peek you instead of you peeking him. He's going to come in one second. And that's why he got like the first eight shots on that dude and fucking ripped him. Look how much health. Uh, oh, he doesn't have that much health. But still, he won the fight because of that. Now, unfortunately, you sometimes yeah, where there really wasn't much you could do because I didn't know that guy was coming. And obviously now there's he. Yeah, I never heard that guy at all. Panic Ninja, yeah, put that thing away. So they got so, so two his teammates friendlies are playing up. smart. Camping yeah. for the rebirth timer. That's good. Now, unfortunately for Ron Kong here, his loot looks like it's going to be in the gas. Looks like he's not going to be receiving Ooh. it. Now we hear a res. Let's see. Uh, what his it's right on the edge. Us. It's right on the edge. I think he can hit it. Oh, okay. All right. Let's find out. Let's find out what happens. And they solve the loadout. This time he lands Landing on the, on the roof. roof. Smart play. I like it. I like it. Oh, he's stealing that loot. Might as well. Wait, that's his. And loot. Your that's what he was up using. There and okay. you can always drop down. That's fine. Picks yeah, up any he takes SMB a gun. Yeah, it's smart. Better than a pistol. Good. I like this. Make sure to play it up. Okay, we're vibing. Oh, he's going to help his teammate. What's going to happen? Oh. 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 oh no! That's tragic. Yeah. I was going to say again. You no, have he had his. Out he there. had a teammate watching his back there too. Because I was going to say maybe you don't go out there, but his teammate was looking that way. Hispanic Ninja, yeah. of course, let him down. Hispanic Ninja just failed him, yeah. So shout out to Hispanic Ninja. Yeah, Bad actually. Friend. Yeah, played up there, buddy. Played up. Ooh, nice little squad From life. Okay. Behind cover. So they're all, so they have three alive, yeah, so there's eight other players left right now. Yep, they can afford He's to He's gonna fall down back, again. He better way. relax. Yeah, do you think Ron goes for this jump and buys back? We got four, I five think coming. he doesn't have money, but I... I think you go for the low. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ron. Oh, he got lucky. That guy had nothing. I got no armor. Nothing. Ron pushes he has it. One shot. Guy was oh, he got me. Yeah. There's two in here. He got me. He's got to decide if he's gonna buy back or not. Yeah, he does. I don't think he's thinking about it. No. He doesn't you, have the money. You get kind of caught in the moment. It's out of the zone now. now. Oh, he doesn't have the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gets the gas mask. Relocating the safe zone. Oh, oh! Let's go with the Milano, dude. With the Milano. Heard of. Yeah. Hey, aiming dick level worked out okay for him there. Oh! No! Dude, melee okay. so busted. By the yes. By the way, in that situation, the correct play is not to switch to your AUG. The correct play was to reload as soon as you could. Yeah. I think reloading is more important than plating if you're empty on both. Oh, for think? sure. If, if you're in a situation like that, I would, yeah, I undoubtedly reload there for sure. Because I get reload caught first, in that sometimes too. I'm like, shit. And then I'll end up dying to some weird angle or something because I didn't plate up, but it's because I was trying to reload and take on that fight that I knew was coming. Because, yeah, because yeah. if... If you have ammo, you have a chance of winning that fight. If you played up and he runs in and you just finished putting your last plate in and you have one bullet, there's nothing you can do besides try to hit him. And if this guy's got a good gun or something up close, you're dead. Doesn't matter if you're fully plated. Yeah, exactly.
exactly. Now, however, in that situation where you have no ammo in your magazine, you don't have amped, even if switching weapons was the play, you don't have amped to do it anyway, and it wouldn't have been the play. Yeah. When you're that close, melee works, dude. The aim punch is disgusting. So that dude's reticle was fucking at the oh. sky and then on the ground. At the sky, He's baby. never shooting yeah. you. And the melee, as Tanner said, is absolutely disgusting. So meleeing there was the correct play. You can't try to run away. You're going to die. You can't try to reload. You're going to die. Yeah. You can't switch weapons. You're going to die. Just melee, melee, and fucking pray. And it now, I'm not, that I'm, was the right play. I'm not sure why he's running outside right now. I don't know if he thought he heard somebody else and he wanted to just get out of the building and played up. But he's outside right now, and I'm a little confused. So let's see where he goes here. Well, the circle's moving, and he's on the edge of the gas. I don't think he can go through that room to get towards circle. Got it. I think so, he yeah. has to go so out of the room trying to get into the gas. The yeah, there's the stairs right there to the right. You see him? Okay. Yeah. He has a gas Got pass, it. which is like... Now, please reload the fucking gun for the love of Christ. Oh, how did hurt? This is oh, so no. bad. Oh, you have no. one bullet, brother. Go, you got, bro. Yeah. Your don't matter. I, I would have reloaded that first point he stopped. Yep. There we go. Okay, we got the reload off. Okay, he thought Honestly, he had heartbeat. He now he has stuns. Yeah, you just got lucky, run. You just got lucky. You got to reload. That. Reload's more important than He said. Oh, that's Ooh. it. And there it is, dude. He All got he is. got lucky with that last guy too. That was already one shot, no armor. Yeah, his teammate really softened him up. Now I want to go back here. One last little critique on this play. Can I want you to rewatch this and tell me what your thoughts are on this? Um. Play it one more time. Let me watch what happened with that door there. I'm trying to figure out what happened with that door. Okay. When that guy fucking Found appeared through it. Right I don't think I would have kept pushing. I think I would have shot when the door did that weird thing. I I would assume the guy was going back in. And I feel like I would have just watched it maybe. But all in all, it's like I'm not going for the res or anything there. Not a chance. I think that's no, way I'm too not risky. Going for the I agree. I don't think you go for the res. And since he, I think he got shots on. So he knows he has no plates. Yeah. My only oh, criticism God, here me. is there's no reason to sprint this because you're just incurring another sprint out timer you don't need. Yeah. So I'll try and pause. So he, he doesn't oh, know he's Oh, yeah, good point. But you yeah, see yeah, how yeah. he sprints right there? Yeah. You could have just stayed ADS that whole time and walked it for a yeah, second. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of players will go in a room and then uh, B-hop out Yeah. and try to kill you that way. And if you're caught sprinting in that situation, you're going to get fucked. In this case, it was fine because this guy was one shot, but you don't want to sprint there. You want to just keep uh, ADSing yeah. so you don't have to incur that sprint out penalty. So we'll just watch it one more time. Found an aid station. Right here. He gets the kill. And then we'll, I guess, just finish it up. And they win. Well, let's nice pause it before resurgence. we hear some gamer words. Oh, is there, are there going to be gamer? Well, I don't okay, know. It's we'll a end. public lobby. I'm sure there will be at the end. Just mute the, uh, we'll just mute the broadcast here yeah. and just watch, watch him float up into the sky. The broadcast is muted, but imagine this, the, the deafening sound of a Call of Duty Warzone vehicle. Yeah, it's, uh, which is pretty Or anything deafening. in the game really just deafening, uh, except footsteps, of course, those are silent. Um, and they're going up and that's the game. Cool. There you go. So Tanner, what are your thoughts? My thoughts. I think the biggest thing for me is like you were saying how he was angled down too low. Honestly, at points I was getting sick to my stomach. Like he's just running around looking at the ground. You you got to get that up. You absolutely have to aim higher. Um, yeah. Because yeah, especially with a low field of view like that, when you're aimed at the ground, you are missing so much. I can be aimed at the ground like that at 115 field of view it wouldn't be smart but i'd still be able to see everything around me you can't do that when you're on 80 field of view on a console. yeah and you don't see as deep yes. even if your field of view is 115 you don't see as deep you need to aim up um other than that there's really not too much to pick apart there he played everything pretty smart stayed on the rooftop most of the game with his teammates i mean he made that one mistake where he jumped down trying to get that kill uh, you always want to stay on a roof. It's pretty much bottom line. If you have that roof, you want to stay on it. I, I know it's tempting. I would have probably made that same drop down there, but that's, it's just not the right move to make. You, you want to stay on that rooftop. You want to stay with you. Especially teammates. on rebirth. Yeah. 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 Cause there's always rats ready to third party you. Yeah. I agree. Um, 
when it comes to that, where is it? When it comes to this point where he gets the kill, it's right here. Let me see. Yeah, this, this play. So, he needs to just get out of this area right here. Like, this whole thing, I don't know if I'd even peek that again. I think I'd run the opposite way and just get out of there. And so yeah. he just, he stays at this door again where all this action's happening. And, you know, he ends up getting killed from that. That's true. Now, he didn't, he didn't hear that. He didn't hear that guy coming. But, you know, you can't hear people in this video game. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, true. My other thought was, I think you, he could have gone for that res on his teammate when he, there was a point, I'm pretty sure, when he had money and he could have rezzed here. I'm not going to go through and find it, actually. But I feel like there was enough cover there between that loadout drop and that buy station. From where the enemies were, he could have potentially bought his buddy back. Um, yeah, you know, it, it worked out in the end. They got the win with just the two of them. But you got to be thinking about stuff like that always. You get like, you get tunnel vision playing Warzone where you don't think about things like that. Like, unless your teammates saying, shit, I need a res, I'm down. You don't notice your teammates even down. Then all of a sudden they bleed out and they're like, fuck, I'm dead. It's like, oh, I don't even That's, know you're down. That stuff yeah. happens a lot. So you need to be paying attention, thinking yeah. about things like that, when to buy your teammates back. Because it's a risk to go and buy them back, but it's also going to help you out a lot in the end game, especially on rebirth when you can land and get loot immediately. You won't have your perks, but you'll land anywhere and be, be able to find somebody's loadout that they dropped or that they died with and you have access to. Yeah. And it's especially, I think especially they probably just didn't think about it because they're in resurgence mode where they're like, okay, there's no more resurgence timer. So you just can't respawn anymore. Yeah. So they kind of forgot that it's possible to buy teammates back even after the re the resurgence is done. Yeah. I think it just simply didn't occur to them, so don't forget that that's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, so I, yeah, I think we did uh, a pretty good job with the uh the particulars there. Um the pretty good positioning overall except for that Roof drop, rooftop dropping down play. Yeah, uh, you want to stay elevated, especially on this map. It's too small to be underneath people. You're gonna get shit on like a hundred percent. Um, so I wouldn't have done that. I want to be like Spider Man, just from rooftop to rooftop yeah. in, on Rebirth Island. True. Uh, fix your centering, and consider turning down your sensitivity so that you aren't like over aiming a bunch um i know the aug is no longer in vogue but don't ever use a 4x scope again on any cold war gun ever true the bezel's really obstructive and dog shit as is the reticle as we've seen here um and also consider using if you're gonna use a 4x or a 3x consider using one of the like battle pass tier reticles there are some really nice ones, especially in this battle pass. There's a there's a, a blue reticle called Central. It's very clean. It's excellent. And it changes how the bezel looks too. Yeah. Any aftermarket aftermarket, you know what I mean. Aftermarket. Reticle will also change how the bezel looks. Yeah. Uh so consider doing that. Um other than that, I thought it was uh it was pretty good. Also, again, remember. Don't get too hung up on which gun to use when you see some dude. Use the gun that's in your hands, unless it's very obvious that it will not work, then switch. Yeah. But then and only then switch. If you're hesitating, then you already know, use the gun in your hands. Don't don't overthink it. Agreed. Yeah, like those situations where you switch to that AUG, when, we had, when he had the FFAR out and the guy was like 25 meters away, there's no reason to switch there. Just use whatever gun you have. Yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, I like I said, if I had an SMG, I wouldn't have switched there at that distance. Now, if he was like 15 meters out from that, then yes, then I could see you wanting to switch weapons. But for how close he was, no cover, not a chance. Shoot with yeah. what you have. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. So, um, yeah, all in all, good gameplay. Um, good dub. Get a microphone. That's another piece of advice. 
You spend twenty dollars a month on the Patreon. I don't know if you just don't like talking to your teammates or if we can't hear you. He probably on had your one. recording. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of these recordings you can't hear their microphone, and I'm almost certain that's what it is. Okay. Okay, good. I was gonna say invest in a mic. It's very helpful. Um, but yeah, you're probably right. So that's another uh another little point. Um other than that, last thing that we haven't mentioned. You guys had a lot of money this entire game that simply went unspent. Change it. Oh, he you never used that airstrike either. He died with that airstrike. True. Yes. And your teammate, uh, Juggalo X, change it or whatever that says. Yeah. Ch absolutely. Tell him to change it. Also, um, he was sitting on like 12K, like the whole game. Yeah. He could have bought you all self res streaks. Like a yes. lot. Yes. Um, UAV, which is really good on this, because a lot of people are Garys who don't have ghosts yet. It'll help. Um, and sitting on that money does nothing for you. Yeah. You guys were right next to a buy station like this whole game. True. Yeah, even like buying streaks, like, like don't be scared to use your airstrike on rebirth. There's a decent chance you'll get a down or something, even if, if it's almost like a random airstrike. If you don't get a down, you'll at least keep somebody pinned in a building for a little while. So yeah, you don't, you don't want to die with those ever. Just yeah. at, attempt to use them. Like earlier today, actually, we were playing Verdansk. Uh, I mean, we, we were playing Warzone on Verdansk and we were near hangars and I thought I was going to die. You guys, you were down, Bango was down. Immediately when I self res, I got out my precision airstrike and I called it in exactly where I was because I was like, I'm probably going to die here. Uh, and so what happened? I didn't die. It was I was able to get away and all the enemies also went away and we can kind of like regain, regroup and figure out another move. So it's like you got to just use those, you know, don't be scared that you're going to waste it. You're better off wasting it, you know, quote, wasting it rather than dying with it, which is a true waste. Yeah. So course. use those streaks. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So totally agree. Totally agree. There's really nothing that can go wrong other than you wish you had it later, but that actually happens surprisingly rarely. Yeah. There are times where I'll use a precision and then be like, fuck, I wish I had saved it for now. Yeah. That will happen, but far less often than you that that will happen far less often than you simply dying and dropping a precision for the enemies who just killed you. Yeah. So just use it. Get a down precision, the down, or if it's like that final circle, throw it somewhere and hope that it gets a kill or at least forces people to move where they didn't want to. Yeah. So agreed. Anyways, uh, all in all, good stuff, man. Uh, great play with the melee there in that room. Um, I thought that was pretty much the only thing you can do, and you thought of it right away, so that was really good. Um, yeah, and then reaction. a lot of the engagements were smart, and and they were they were taken. Uh, they were like good engagements to take, and a, a good use of cover too. Resing behind cover for the most part, outside of the very first one. Um, you probably just didn't know where the guy was. That's why you weren't taking cover from him. But um, yeah, like good use of cover in general and uh, and good stuff. Yep. So any other thoughts, Tanner? No, I don't think so. Thanks, Ron, for submitting that. Thanks for being a patron. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So Ron Kong, thank you, sir, for the submission. Uh, shout out to you. Appreciate it. Good content. Uh, hopefully you learned something. And for those of you watching, we hope you perhaps learned something as well. Once again, patreon.com slash... The drop shot. If you want your gameplay broken down like this, then uh, join the Patreon, join the fucking Discord, and submit it. Uh, the guidelines are written in the Discord as well as the channel for you to submit your link, and then we will break it down just like this if you are a Damascus patron. So patreon.com slash the drop shot for more details. On top of gameplay breakdowns, there are a ton of other benefits, and it's the best way to support this program. And we desperately need 300 patrons and we're six away. So change it. Yeah. So anyway, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed. Four and away. we will be back on Wednesday for our next gameplay breakdown. And that will be with. Ozzy, I think. That will be with Ozzy, I think. Let's find out. Hold on. <laughs> cool. It'll be Ozzy's. It'll be Ozzy boys Dope. gameplay breakdown. 
So, uh, so yeah, come back on Wednesday and we'll be doing that. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you next time. Bye.